Hi everyone, this is Niall from windowsnoob.com and today I'm going to talk a little bit about Windows 365 Switch, which myself and Paul blogged about uh, this week, just a couple of days ago. Um, basically it's part nine of a series that we're writing and in there it shows all the steps that you need to go through in order to get this working. I'll post a link to this blog post um, in the description of the video. All right, but let's uh, just go through exactly what we went through in order to get this working. So uh, here we have a VM. It is um, actually an insider preview ISO that I downloaded and then I updated and then I reset. So let's just take a look at the version of Windows here. And we can see it's uh, 23H2, which which is, of course, an insider release. And it's updated to 22.631.2.129. And that build is the minimum build that you need in order to get um, Windows 365 switch working, just so you know. So basically, I updated a, a virtual machine with Windows Insider Preview uh, installed got it updated to this build, and then I reset it, okay? So now that you know that, let's uh, continue with this. So basically, this virtual machine is going to be the local PC. So Windows 365 Switch is a two-sided affair. You've got a local PC, which someone needs to log on to, and you've got a uh, cloud PC which they connect to. This one is not autopilot enabled so I'm gonna to have to answer some silly questions and go through that. Now one thing to point out here the user that you log on to not necessarily enroll but log on to Windows with must be the user that is licensed to use uh, the cloud PC. Otherwise, it's not gonna work, all right? So I'm actually gonna enroll using this user, test user one, and um, everything should be fine. Do an MFA prompt now. Or maybe not, no MFA, weird. <clears throat> and off that goes. So what I want to show here, without doing any edits whatsoever, is the amount of time it takes just to get a machine up and running. The one thing that you haven't seen here is actually installing um, Windows uh, 11 Insider Preview, the available release, and then updating that. Um, that does take some time to get it to the appropriate build. Okay, so here comes the MFA prompt. It might error here because it's a VM and I've done this before. It's a quirk of Windows Hello. Store some information in the TPM. Yep, that's what it is. So if I try again, it'll work just fine. <clears throat> like I said. Okay, so here we have Windows 11, and uh, this is the right build version for testing uh, Windows 365 Switch. You can check that here. There it is, 
0.2129. You need to be a minimum of that uh, built in order to test this, all right? And, okay, so let's go to the blog post again and see what we have to do. So one of the first things that we have to do is um, manually uh, enroll into the Windows Insider program uh, in order to get to this build state that we're in right now. And you have to select the beta channel and restart the device once that's done. And then you have to update Windows. And I think there was two updates that you had to download. The first one was actually 22.6.2.1. something. And then you had to download another one, which was 22.6.3.1. So if you're trying this out, Today, you will see that it takes at least two of those major updates before you get to the required build. You can also automate this and deploy an update ring to a group containing this PC and um, set these settings and it, it will work. It'll just take some time. And if you want to test it quickly, you can do it manually. It's probably quicker. And uh, what else? You need to do, you need to, you need to um, get both the local PC and the cloud PC to the exact same build. So both of them have to be uh, enrolled into the Insider Preview program and updated to that build. That's the only way you can test this. So once you've done that, uh, you can then download and install, download and run the Windows 365 app. Make sure it's this version or newer. So let's go do that. So on the local PC, we're going to go to uh, the Microsoft Store. And we're going to search for Windows 365 app. And it's in there somewhere. Or is it? There it is. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So once that's installed, we can verify the version. By opening it, clicking on settings. So I'll click on open. And here we have, oh, look at that. Isn't that interesting? So we've now got the six um, pages of, I guess, the guide to setting this up. Uh, we didn't see this when we did the blog post. We only saw four pages, but here we go. And we now have six. So presumably the six pages will include uh, information on Windows 365 switch. Right, so there we go. Add your cloud PC to the task view for even faster access. So try it out, right? You can click there or you can go there. And look at that. Remove from task view. So it's already added. So, okay. Uh, Windows 365 switch, the way it works is it use, utilizes this feature here, task view, in Windows 11, but it has to be Windows 11 of the appropriate build. So I think what's going to happen is that when Microsoft releases the final version of uh, Windows 11 Enterprise Pro version 23H2, which will probably be sometime in October, that um it will contain all of this code needed for windows 365 switch and when you download the uh, windows 365 app um this will be built in basically so you'll be able to utilize windows 365 switch i believe um in that coming release so what we're looking at here is how to test it before then, right? 
So as you can see, it says remove from task view, which means that it has already added it. Um, we didn't see this when we did the blog post, which is a few days ago. So clearly something has changed. Um, but let's look here. So what we have here is the uh, desktop one, which is the desktop that I'm currently using. I could create another desktop if I wanted. Um, but over here is connect to W365 North. This is my cloud PC, right? So back here, we have the um, local PCs desktop, and there could be many. And we also have the cloud PC. Now, some feedback that I've already given to the Microsoft product group is, how about moving this to the left so that you have desktop one, then your cloud PC, and then new desktop. So let's see what they do with that, all right? But if I click on this, let's see what happens. So as you can see, it says connecting to your cloud PC, wait on local PC. <clears throat> this first launch in the current version, it takes some time, um, but I believe that they will improve this going forward when it goes to uh, global availability. Right now it's in public preview, and there, there, there you go. I'm now logged on to the cloud PC using Windows 365 Switch. And on the cloud PC, you can do whatever you want. Oh, well, maybe I should point out a few things. This cloud PC is also updated to the same build. Let's just verify that. Yeah, there it is. So this is also Windows Insider Preview release, and it's on 22631.2129, and that is the minimum build you need to be on in order to, to, to have this working. So you have to update both the cloud PC and the local PC to get Windows 365 switch to work. Now, Remember, I'm on the cloud PC now. So if I go to task view, what you can see there is a slightly different arrangement of the icons. And I think this one is better than it is on the local PC because the first option is the local desktop or local desktops, all right? And the second option is the current desktop, which is the cloud PC. And then finally, you've got new desktop. So I think this one's much better than the local desktop task view, but let's um, click on that. And boom, we're right back to the original local PC. And this would be great in a bring your own device uh, scenario where the user is licensed to use a cloud PC because they can just get, come in with whatever um, Windows device that, that they have as long as it satisfies the requirements and the requirements are it needs to be on a certain version of Windows 11 and the user has to be licensed to use a cloud PC. Once those two things are present, you will get this ability to just switch like this. Boom. And it's instant, as you can see. And I can now switch back. Instant. So that's it. That's uh, an introduction or a video. Uh, showing you how to set up Windows 365 Switch. Please do check out the blog post that myself and Paul put together. We spent a lot of time testing it in um, private preview before it went public. And um, it's great. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you try it out yourself. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.